If you're new around here, we're Jamie Ellen Harrod and we're converting this 2019 Fiat Ducato into our tiny home on wheels. So far in the build, we completely stripped out the van, gave it a good clean and applied the sand deadening. The way to have a few jobs done that we didn't fancy ourselves, including the solar, max air fan, Wi-Fi router, and all the wiring, and also installing the underslung gas tank. We're completely new to all of this and we're trying to learn as we go, so please hit the subscribe button to follow our journey. Right, so today we're finally going to get the floor in. Um, the van has been away all week getting a few jobs done to it, all the wiring and all stuff, which we'll show you later on in the video, so stick around for that. Yeah. Um, so now we're going to crack on with the battens. We've got a lot of them down already, but now we just need to start putting the ones in between. Um, and then we can get the insulation down, the cellar text down tomorrow. Tomorrow on board. So we're going to leave the battens to dry overnight and then yeah. do that tomorrow. And then get the, Apparently, it's quite a long job, um, the cellar text. It takes seven or eight hours to get it all into place, so yeah, it's going to be a full day. It's probably going to take a while just to get all the measurements yeah. done about three or four times and then. But yeah, we're buzzing to have the van back. We've got so much done to it, um, which we'll show you probably at the end of the video, so make sure, like I say, stick around. So we're putting the battens all around the sides and we're making sure to put them underneath oh splinter um underneath where like our units are gonna be so this one for example is, um well it's on a bit of a squiff at the moment but it will be in a straight line that will be our kitchen counter so that when we put the counter in and stuff that it's got something to drill into um yeah that's a lot so far, I think. Come on, what's our issue? Our issue is um, the board. Is the plywood. Gonna, the plywood is going to be coming out to here. Um, so but we could have put a long batten there because it wasn't fully flat. Yeah. And it was going to be all on it a squiff. It was all squiffy. But then now we've got so this So we put in. this there instead. And then if we put all these old the scraps. scraps in, like this, and then we can just screw through, through there Why and into there. Why did we say this didn't look flat? Because that looks flat. <laughs> I think there was something wrong with it. Was there? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it went on the high point or something. Hello. Right. Do you know what I mean? Because you don't even need to have it in these little bits. You could just have it like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so the supply has something to stick on. Yeah. It's all very confusing. Maybe it's done in like that, maybe. Like this. We have just finished. You've been on charge for a bit. And we've just <laughs> finished cutting and laying all the patterns. It was a bit more tricky than what we thought, to be honest. Yeah. Especially it was. because. We need to think about where the ply joins and like the kitchen unit and the shower unit and everything. So everything, uh, so stuff go underneath it. And then some bits were dipped and then other bits were high and it was just a bit of a headache, but we're there. So, there it is. Can we see? There's a hoover in the way, but there you go. Um, do you have anything to tell them about it? Um, yeah, so we definitely it took a lot longer than what we thought. It, I don't know if you can tell now, but it's five o'clock. This you've got sawdust all in your hair. On the grafter. Um, yeah, but we've got to get this glue down tonight because we want to obviously put the boards on so we can weigh it down overnight to it dry. Yeah. Um, we've probably got about thirty minutes of sunlight left. And what we've done? So um, did we tell them this last time? No. Maybe we not. did. I don't remember. Hang on, let me just connect you. So where the ply joins with us, it's not on a high point. So we've had to put some sound deadening. Yeah, yeah. Um, to like layer it up so that the batten can go on the sound deadening so it's level. Yeah. Um, or something else that wasn't level. What was it with you? 
Uh, just those by the doors now. So here. Talk to us, Jimmy. So because because everything else is on a high point, we need battens across here because obviously we're going to be stepping in. So what I've done, I've just trimmed some little bits off here, and then we will glue those down, and then we'll glue this on top of those. Snug as a bug in, in a rug. rug. We maybe even might try and drill just to keep it extra secure. We'll see how we go. Are these boxes too big for Salatex on its own? I feel like that's quite a big area. And I, and I tell you for why I don't think so. I've seen people not even batter a few people oh, really? sell a text okay. to full floor because it's industrial, like it's commercial. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. You know, and we're not going to have a right lot of weight here. No, no. The, so the sell text is just to keep it more. Rigid. I'm, yeah, yeah. Sorry, the batter to keep it more rigid and keep the the floor from sinking or whatever. I think that's nothing to worry about. We've got plenty at the back. Yeah. So if you're doing this, our um, takeaway, take your time. Yeah, take your time. And, and measure and, like, don't just think, oh, buttons will be fine. Yeah. Just think, like, where our, where are our... Vital points, yeah. really. I tried rushing at the start, didn't I? I just tried, I wanted to get it done, I get a bit like that. Um, and it... It didn't really mess us up, but it's like, let's go back and like redo a yeah. little bit and a little bit. Um, and it's just better to know, like, write everything down, get a diagram. Yeah. Get it neat. So that when it comes to the time of you're building your units. Yeah, you know where all your battens are. You know are, where all your battens are. You're not just drilling blind. No, nah, which is always handy. Yeah, so the plan is now that we're going to stick it down with some CT1, we've heard is the best, apparently. Yeah. So we're going to... Stick them all down. We're not going to drill these ones. No. We've only drilled the lengthways ones? Widthways? Widthways, yeah. And we're not going to drill these in-between ones. We're going to stick them down with CT1, put the ply back on, get some heavy stuff, weigh it down overnight, and then by tomorrow it should be yeah. good to go. And then we can start banging some of the text in tomorrow then. Yes, insulated tomorrow. We'll finish the floor hopefully. Morning. So, moment of truth. Have they stuck? Oh yeah, we didn't. We didn't. We, it was too dark, so we couldn't film anything. We stuck them down, and we put the ply down, and then weights on them. So, let's see. Come on, Jimbo. So most of them have stuck. A few of them have slipped, but the issue we had was that we cut the ply the other. A few weeks ago, and now we've got like a copper pipe for the. What have you got the copper pipe for? The water. Um. Yeah. So we've got that, and that wasn't cutting the ply, so the ply couldn't sit flush on it. So a few of them have um slipped a bit, but I think we're just going to try and put them back um flush, and then put just put a screw through the ones that are a bit dodge. But no one else seems to have that issue of them all sliding <laughs> about. So I don't know what we've done wrong. I mean, they're quite sound. Um, and then... <clears throat> so for example, that one has slipped off because where the ply was on it. Also, I think Jimmy's big elephant feet probably might have had a part to play in that. Like that one. I don't know. So to solve the issue um, of the couple of buttons that I slipped, there's only two that slipped and then there's this one here that just needs screwing in a bit. Um, we went and got some of this just from the local shop downtown. Apparently it's really good for getting all the adhesives, like to, uh, even to soften up just so we can pull them off. Um, so we're going to try and get those off now and then we can reposition them there. And we, we're going to try and leave them for a couple of hours, see if they set. Well, we'll do other jobs, but if not, we're just gonna have to screw them in then. Um, 
so I can crack on with the rest of the flat. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain Beauty in the Monday And as the light startled our eyes we let I'm gonna go now try and cut some Celotex. I've got a nice little electric knife. Maybe a salmon knife, I don't know. Wish me luck. Startled our eyes, we let go of disguise. And now... So, um, while Ang Arud is cutting a set of text for the floor now, I'm gonna show you the jobs, the other jobs that we've had done all week, so. We'll start off with the electrics. I'll show you that first, and then I'll go onto the roof and show you what we've had there. This, all this area, that's gonna be, like we'll have a charging cupboard up there, it's just for the drone and camera and all that. And then this is gonna be like the control center. So we're gonna have like a little seat here, um, just like a work area. So we have all the components in there, the DC to DC charger, and um, the smart shunt and all of that. Then we're gonna get all the electrics here. This is all obviously for the spotlights. Um, here we're gonna have a two-way controller for the lights. So we can turn the lights on and off from here, but then we can also turn them on and off from bed as well then. And then we've got our lights split into three. So we've got three at the back and three at the front, and then they're on different circuits. So, we can either put the front lights on, the back lights on, or both. By the bed, we're going to have, so this is our headspace, we're going to have plug socket, some plug sockets and some USBs here so we can charge our phones or whatever while we're in bed. We've got a cable here that's going to be um, for a projector so we can have movie nights and whatever. Um, and then, like I said, up here, we're going to have two plug sockets and then four USB sockets and then we'll partition all of this off, trim it all off nice and then that'll be our big charging cupboard then. And then here is going to be our work area where so we have a bench, bench and a table which transforms into a sofa. Um, so then here we're going to have some USBs and some 240 volt sockets. And then the same again here for the kitchen, we're going to have a couple of 240 volt sockets there as well. And then um what else is the okay yeah so we've got the solar coming in here so this is where the solar comes in um and that's going to go here so we're going to have the batteries here we're got, going to have either two or three hundred amp lithium batteries coming into this section um and then that's going to charge it out with a 3000 watt inverter then so we can have full 240 volt plug sockets and everything you normally have at home. Yeah. Uh, we have got a 30 litre gas tank underneath which I'll show you. So this is the inlet here um, and then that's going to run to our Truma E4 boiler to give us hot water and heating and it'll also run to the cooker as well then. This is the gas tank we've installed so that's 30 litres LPG. Um, and then that will give us our gas then for the cooker and for the Truma boiler. Up on the roof we've got two 175 watt Victron solar panels, um, so 350 watts in total. And I believe they're in sequence, is it, where they both work together? Uh, in look coming at the back. And then if you can see at the front there, so obviously the black thing is the uh, maxi fan, so that's an extractor fan. It blows cold air in but also extracts hot air as well and then just to the right of that the little white thing at the front is a wi-fi router and um, so that gives us 4g wi-fi on the road and um, 300 megabytes per second i believe which is quite handy to obviously upload youtube and for us to work from and stuff like that and um, if any of you are looking for like wi-fi or what solar to use or even the electric setup to use which we're going to be getting members order this week and um, everything is linked down in the description that we use each video so uh, yeah anything you see that you like the look of we might do a nice um google doc 
so yeah. everything's just in one place so it yeah, doesn't look cluttered. Keep it all nice and neat for you. And then yeah, go and check it out. So obviously any of you that have done a van build before, you'll know just how long the Celotex takes. So while Ang Howard's doing that, I'm going to start getting all this wool into the crevices then, into like, mainly into all these bits. And then all up on the roof like that. And then, so we only got three rolls of that. We thought three rolls would be enough for the full van. But I don't think it's going to be. So our plan is now to use as much as it takes to do into like all the beams and stuff. And then if we need to, we'll probably do Celotex on the walls then, maybe 50 mil Celotex. So yeah, I'm going to start. This is probably a slow process as well, so best to kill two birds with one stone. I also forgot to mention um, what we're using. So this is recycled bottle plastic, which is really handy. So not only is it obviously good for the environment, um, it's supposed to be really, really good for your van because it doesn't hold any moisture at all. Um, so obviously if it doesn't hold moisture, it's a lot less prone to getting mold then. So we're back at it this morning, um, it's nice and dry today which is lovely. So we are going to finish with the floor, um, hopefully get all of that if not the majority of that in and I'm going to keep insulating all these beams then. We don't have a right lot of time because it's Sunday today so this video is going live tonight so I need to get the edit finished and stuff as well so yeah we have not got a right lot of time but hopefully we can get quite a bit done. These beams on the roof are quite tough. Um, the holes, I'll show you. So the holes are only really, really small. So like here, you try to get a screwdriver into there. And then obviously put, then you've got to push the um, insulation and stuff through. So it's quite, it's quite tricky and fiddly to get these bits in, but yeah, we're getting there. It's nearly done now, all this um, insulation into the beams. Which is quite handy. Lighting's terrible there. There we go. Yeah, so it's all it's all nearly done now, these beams. Um and then tomorrow we're gonna start insulating all the walls and the ceiling panels as well then. So yeah, it's gonna start taking shape now this way. So we've not got the floor finished in this video just yet. Nearly However, there. We're nearly there and it's only midday so it costs. The Salatex will be done today. Today, yeah. We've insulated all of the beams and stuff so that makes it easier for us tomorrow. Um but it's Sunday and it's twelve o'clock and this video is going live in six hours. So, so see you tonight. Yeah, we'll see you all tonight. I need this to get is, editing. Um, it's a first, isn't it? gone <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long day yeah it's been a long day um we're happy we're starting to see a bit of movement now um we're gonna have all day tomorrow what is it tomorrow monday, monday. all day tomorrow all day tuesday on yeah the van. so we're getting like i say so the floor is going to get finished today we're not going to show you in show you in this video because i'm going to be in editing I'm going to be staying out finishing. Fair, the ply might be going on tomorrow yeah the ply will probably go I don't on tomorrow think we'll put the ply on tonight no but then anyway, so you see all that in next week's video. Um, once again, thanks for watching. We do appreciate each and every one of you. And we do. Every comment that you leave that helps Please us. Please keep commenting and helping us out because yeah. 
It means the world, doesn't we it? We are clueless. Yeah. And the more we go forward, the more I realise. But we're out of our depth. Uh, yeah. But all of your comments, we do, we read them and we do take note, don't we? So. Oh my God, yeah. Um, yeah, don't forget, if you don't already, subscribe. Um, and we'll see you on the next one.